What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com. Now Apple has announced WWDC will take place in June and we are fully expect to get our first look at iOS 16, the next version of the operating system that powers the iPhone and the iPad. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the leaks and the rumors and take a look at what iOS 16 is expected to look like. So we will get the first look of iOS 16 at WWDC, which is in June. Apple have already announced this event. One leak relating to iOS 16 is that Apple could be updating the look of the widgets. So Apple is reportedly developing bigger widget boxes that are referring to info shacks. If the leak is accurate, then the iOS 16 widgets might let us combine various widgets from different sources into the same box. So for example, the top interactive widgets include plenty of information that you might want to have at a glance, but actual buttons as well that you might want to interact with. So there are also rumors that Apple will be implementing a split view kind of feature into the iPhone. So you will be able to view two split screen applications on the large screen. So a few more leaks has come from Mark Gurman, which is a very reliable source of Apple news. He suggested that iOS 16 won't come with a huge redesign, but it will morely focus on improving the notification experience and adding more health tracking options. So we know that notifications has not been Apple's forte in the past, but it has been recently improving over the years but it would be a great if we could see a nice notification change with an improved system. So there are also rumors that we're going to be seeing an updated control center with more interactive features, a new files application for the iPhone and the iPad, and also messages will be getting a new overhaul with a bunch of new features as well. So Mark Given has also given some information that there might be a new iPad OS multitasking interface, so another tipster has suggested that Apple are developing a smart system for the iPad, so apps will continue to be full screen, but automatically shrink when connected to a keyboard and trackpad. He's also saying that these features will be for the iPad with the M1 chipset only. So Apple is expected to preview iOS 16 at the 2022 Worldwide Developers Conference, which is set to kick off on Monday, June 6th. So after iOS 16 has been previewed at WWDC, they will provide it to developers for testing purposes and then they will release it with the new iPhone and the new iPads later on in the fall. If you want to get the first look at iOS 16, make sure you hit the subscribe button as we will have loads of content coming to the channel very soon. Let us know what you think of iOS 16 in the comment section, hit the like button and I'll catch you all in the next video.